What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another video and today's going to be a different one because I know you're like Nornrad89, typically you're a horror YouTube channel, you know, you typically cover a lot of horror movies and stuff like that, but today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite movies of all time and yes, this isn't a horror movie, we're going to talk about The Breakfast Club, yes, The Breakfast Club, this is one of my all-time favorite classics, it is in my top 10 movies of all time so today we're going to discuss why I feel like this is such a monumental film and why it's an important film to me and why I think a lot of people nowadays they just they don't really know the importance of this film and a lot of kids or younger youth should go out and check this film out because I think they could learn a lot from this movie so let's talk about it roll it So yes, today we're here to talk about The Breakfast Club. This is the DVD release. This is a John Hughes film and probably quintessential 80s. Like if I was to think of a list of, you know, what's the must-watch 80s films ever, this would easily be on that list. Of course, we have a fantastic cast, Emilio Estevez, Anthony Michael Hall, Molly Ringwald, Ali Sheedy, Judd Nelson. So great cast all across the board. And this is one of those films. This is my favorite John Hughes film, of course, too. And for me, it's just, like I said, it screams 80s. And when I'm, uh, in terms of fandom, I'm a sucker for 80s horror movies, 80s, you know, nostalgia, 80s comedies, anything 80s that's just like my fandom. I really love that era. And I wish I was born a little bit earlier in the 80s. That way I was able to live through it. So that's probably another reason why I gravitate towards this film. But another fantastic reason why I gravitate towards this movie is that I think in terms of story-wise... I think John Hughes tackles a lot of awesome teenage, you know, angst and really deep storylines in this film, but also makes them seem very minuscule and childish as well. Like, I, I, it doesn't mean to say that that's a bad thing. Like I said, it makes it seem very much like a teenage film. If I was to think of a his most complete script, a film that has the best cast, and like I said, just like I said, most complete script, most idea that when you get to the end of the film it really capsulates something it's the breakfast club another fantastic reason too is that this is just a kind of one shot location thing where they're in detention they're in that detention room and they're there for the whole time so it's basically just a onset one shot location place you know we get a couple other shots we get the bathroom sequence we get a nice hallway chase sequence thing that's kind of reminiscent of almost like a scooby-doo sequence so there's a lot of fun stuff to have with the breakfast club because it plays with a lot of cool tones where like i said it deals with teenage angst there's drama in here there's comedy in here there's a lot to be had with this film there's also love and weird stuff going on in this film because when you're a teenager you don't necessarily understand any of those things yet you're you think you know everything you're at that point where you think you know everything but you really don't and that's why i think this movie is perfect like i said in terms of john hughes films this is the one that you know captures his ideas the best because most of john hughes films like they tackle you know teenage ideas and a lot of his films have stuff in them that you probably wouldn't be okay to put on screen nowadays but oh well but like i said this film i think has his most complete ideas and like they tackle a lot of heavy subjects you know what i mean bullying suicide issues you know all this kind of stuff you know the different class systems within school you know what i mean be it like there's the prom king and queen there's the jocks there's the nerdy kids there's the outcasts the stoners you know what i mean so it, it tackles even the class system within school and all that kind of stuff too so i like this movie so much because the cast the writing, you know, the atmosphere, the songs too. Like there's a great, you know, dance sequence in this film too. Like has one of my most famous iconic dance sequences. So for me, The Breakfast Club is just everything that I love about 80s films, John Hughes films, and the way he's able to tackle very deep teenage subjects, but he's able to also put them in a light fashion, you know what I mean? A digestible fashion. That's a great way to describe it, that, you know, his films are easily digestible and this is probably one of those best films that i would describe that way like i said it tackles a lot of heavy subject matter but you can watch it and watch it with your kids and watch it with people you know what i mean and like i said you can digest it and understand what he's talking about one thing we got to talk about though is i need to upgrade my thing like this is this dvd release this is old this is actually from my original original uh 
collection. Like when I started first collecting and then I sold off like half of my collection, this is from that original collection. So this, this DVD has a lot of wear and tear on it. We have the little booklet inside too. Like I said, we'll spend some time showing it off. We got our little booklet inside right there. There's a nice shot of the cast right there too. Ali Sheedy is great, and Jed Nelson, like all all the cast members in here, they shine. And that's another thing too is that I think, out of all of John Hughes movies, this is the one where he has a young, potent cast of actors, and they all they all shine. Actors and actresses, they all do a fantastic job in this movie. And be it that, like I said, it's Captain by John Hughes and his way to masterfully tell these teenage stories and like all these difficult things that kids are going through you know what I mean because I know like that's what sucks too is like you at that time in your life you're like you have no idea these are kind of the golden years a little bit you know what I mean this is that time in your life when you can make a lot of mistakes you can do things you can experience such a young facet of life you know and being in high school and everything but at that age you don't really know it yet you're kind of like oh I'm so sad, I'm depressed, or I'm, you know, stressed out, and I like how this film, like I said, it tackles all that, because there's a great sequence, that sequence when they're all talking to the, to each other, and they're sitting around, and they kind of spill the beans as to why they're all there, Ali Sheedy has a great moment where she, you know, goes at Molly Ringwald, you know what I mean, and she's like, why are you coming at me, you just berate me with all these questions, and Ali Sheedy's just like, you know, I'm, I'm a compulsive liar, you know what I mean, it's, like, it's, it's really cute, like I said, there's a lot of stuff in this film, and like I said, I think a lot of fans nowadays should show their kids or younger audience members, or this is one of those movies that I would show other people, you know what I mean, because it sucks too, because my kids haven't really gravitated toward this movie yet, one of my daughters loves this film, but there's uh, my other two kids, They don't, and my son's not really old enough yet, he's only six or seven, so he's not really old enough to understand this, so that's a little too early. In terms of me, when I discovered this movie, I was probably like 10 or 11. I would say that was probably the age that I discovered this movie. And I was like, I gravitated towards it. And I was like, oh, I, I want to watch other movies. And like, you know, watch Pretty in Pink, 16 Candles, you know, Uncle Buck. And kind of went through that, you know, that rabbit hole of John Hughes movies in the 80s and stuff. So The Breakfast Club is key in that reason, too, as why is this my number one. Because it kind of got me into, like I said, falling into that rabbit hole of discovering a lot of other different 80s comedies and drama movies and stuff like that. So yeah, that film will always be in my top 10 no matter what. No matter what, I don't think that film will ever be knocked out of my top 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, all that stuff. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new to the channel. Subscribe so you stay up to date on all the content that I post. And let me know down below in the comment section what do you think of The Breakfast Club. I would love to hear your thoughts on this film. Is this one of those movies that you return to often? Is it one of your favorites? Or is this one that you've never seen or you've never gravitated towards? And maybe I've sold you on re-watching it or watching it for the first time. I would love to hear from you. But you all know what's up. Most importantly, have a safe and happy day. Peace out.